So let's make sperm. Where do they get made? In the testes. Now, I have a view of the testes for you because I care. Look at that. We chopped this testy up so that we could see inside of it. What does it look like other than something with an X on it? Like a holy ball of yarn, like coiled, toiled, boiled yarn in a boiled, coiled, whatever. And it is. It's just like your testy is this crazy series of tubes that are all coiled up in there. And these tubes are where sperm actually get produced. They get built in here. This structure right here, this round structure, guess what? Histology, indeed it is so, and we will be taking a look at this. This uh, entire, like it's a cross section of one of these tubes. It's called a seminiferous tubule. So your testes are actually made of a whole bunch of seminiferous tubules. And look, I don't know if you can see this, but I can see a whole bunch of sperm tails. What? It's true. This is, we are in the process of making sperm and giving them some tails because, wow, it's pretty exciting. It's taking place in these tubes inside the testes. So what is taking place there? Well, wouldn't you love to know? Huh, this is taking place there. Guess what? I have my ends. That's telling you that each circle is representing a cell. My ends are telling you the nature of the nucleus of the cell. My first cell at the top of this little diagram, the granddaddy of all cells on this picture, this is a diploid cell, 2N. This cell, of course, has a name. It's called a spermatogonium. Should I try to spell it? I mean, should I try to use my I couldn't think and write cursive at the same time. That says spermatogonium. And I tried to write cursive so that I didn't have to start writing again. This is a spermatogonium. This spermatogonium goes through the process of, what do you think? It's going to result in another diploid cell. Do you think that it's going to go through meiosis? Or is it going to go through mitosis? It's going to go through the process of mitosis, and it, it's going to produce, at the end of going through mitosis once, it's going to produce two identical daughter cells, and these guys are called primary spermatocytes. Matocytes. I'm not a fan of technological difficulties. So we have two primary spermatocytes that result from every single spermatogonium that goes through the process. Now, I need to show you again where, where are these guys located? They're found in the seminiferous tubules. The guys closest to, what would you call it, the basolateral edge of my tube, not the luminal edge. We're starting from basolateral to luminal our sperm are going to be on the luminal edge of our seminiferous tubule. That makes sense because we wouldn't want our sperm to have to, like, climb their way through everybody else to get to the lumen so that they can go out and try to make some babies. Good luck, fellas. Our primary spermatogonium, I mean spermatocytes, what do you notice? They start out as diploid, and then they divide, and they become haploid cells. What do you think just took place? Pretty please with sugar on top. Please answer the question. Indeed, it is so. They go through the process of meiosis. Our primary spermatocytes go through meiosis. So we end up with half the number of chromosomes. We are now haploid cells. 
you would think we were done, but remember our process of meiosis, we're not done. We're not done until we divide again because we have too much DNA. But guess what they're called? No problem. They're secondary spermatocytes. Not writing that word again. These guys are now secondary spermatocytes. Now, let me ask you a question. Up here with my primary spermatocyte, why am I not drawing that one going through the whole process? Because, dude, the fellas make like five gajillion sperm every second. It's ridiculous the number of gametes they are producing constantly. I'm not going to draw every single gamete that is produced in a fella. Just giving you a little example here. Know that there are a whole bunch of spermatogonium in every single seminiferous tubule, and there's like miles of seminiferous tubules. <gasps> I want to know how many miles of seminiferous tubules are there. I bet somewhere in some book it tells you because, I mean, doesn't everybody, shouldn't everybody know that fact? To go from primary spermatocyte to secondary spermatocyte, we go through meiosis one. Just review. To go th through into my end result, we go through meiosis uh, two. And guess what these guys? These are not tertiary spermatocytes. They are actually now called spermatids. Spermatid. See, cursive requires delayed gratification. You can't cross your T until the end. Then you cross your T's and dot your I's. Not very good at that. These are spermatids? What? Come on. Why aren't they sperm? What has to happen? There's a huge hint here, my friends. Yeah, they're not sperm yet. They're not sperm until they graduate and get what? You are not a sperm. You are not a true sperm until you earn your tail. Where's my pen? so I can draw a tail. That's a spermatid. These guys have earned their tails. They are sperm, also known as spermatozoa. Zoa, animal, critter, moving, spermatozoa. Did I tell you guys about my kids and their sperm story? I already told you one story about sperm and eggs in my small humans. Maybe I shouldn't say this story on YouTube. My kids are really cute, and they're not big enough to be making their own sperm yet. And once they are making their own sperm, I think they might just be like, dude, we are completely disowning this lady who claims that she is our mother. I will fight them because I have quite a lot of physical evidence that indeed they did come out of my body, the little punk parasites ungrateful little wretches. <laughs> I think that's everything you need to know about spermatogenesis. And why do I have a whole section on sperm? Well, let's go find out. I'll read my notes and find out why we are going to talk about sperm next, because, dude, didn't we just talk about them? They're pretty cool, though. I think they deserve another whole section. Maybe I will tell you the sperm story in the next video.